Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Rez, and you're watching the YouTube Guide. Today, we're going into the past and picking up the king. I don't know if it's a king or not, but this is probably the most sold Canon camera out there. I mean, in the Prime, of course. Not now, but this is probably the best YouTube camera you can get for under 100 bucks. Now, I got this baby, the body, of course, a body off of eBay, and I got it for 85 bucks. I'll be linking some of the uh, ads that I've seen on eBay in the description box below, so you can check it out yourself. I bought the lens, uh, I bought the 50mm lens. I also have a kit lens with it. All right, so this is a Canon T3i. This is Canon Rebel T3i. T3i. <laughs> All right, so before we head into the testings, some details about this camera. We're not going to be talking about the specs on this baby because I have seen a lot of videos out there talking about the specs. So instead, we're going to be talking about the good things about this camera and why you should get it. So first off, full piece screen. As you can see, you can record yourself while you are filming yourself. And uh, it has a pretty decent battery. I mean, it works. External microphone, by the way, you can use external microphone on this baby. And uh, yeah, you, you have a shoe on top. You have uh, good picture quality as well. And uh, now well, let's talk about the bad things. It's pretty huge. It's chunky. It's really, really chunky. I'm using the 50mm on this. This is like the shortest length possible, but it's pretty chunky. And uh, the most and the worst part and the worst thing on this camera is the autofocus. Dude, look at this. Look at how slow it focuses. Hold on. Still focusing by the way yep it didn't even focus see yeah apparently you don't get the autofocus that you get in like high-end mirrorless camera the one I'm using right now as you can see hold on let's check 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 this out see how quick this is by the way if you're wondering this is a a6400 this is a Sony mirrorless camera this is not a mirrorless camera this records in uh, 1080p 24 and if you want slow motion all you get is 50 frames per second now I've done a lot of work on this camera and uh, after all the bad things I just told you about this camera I still would recommend you this camera now let's jump into the testings all right so first off some cinematic clips people love cinematic so let's just see that and let's come back So do let me know what do you think about the cinematics from this camera in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe and now if you want to do talking heads like this one this is a pretty decent camera but you really need someone to focus on focus it on you if you're using a zoomed in lens like this one you can't really just you know hold it right this and you know focus it on you it, it doesn't work that way so yeah, but if you're using a kit lens com that comes with the camera, that you can actually, you know, hold it and just focus it on you and then you can record yourself. Now now let's just check out the talking head videos. Hey, what <laughs> is going on everybody? I'm Riz and today I'm going to show you the best, best video camera for vlogging. If you're just starting out on YouTube or any other platform that you like. So I started on this camera and I think this is probably the best camera you can get under 100 bucks for vlogging or just make, film, making films in general. All right, so, so what do you think? It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, right? I mean, you can't, it's just a $100 camera, right? It just, it just works, just works. Now, the third test is gonna be the vlogging test. Can you vlog on the kit lens that comes with the camera? Let's try that out. So we've got the uh, talking head, we got the cinematics, we got the vlogging and lost, but not the least, we're gonna try out some pictures. Now, this is a great camera if you want to get it for pictures. 
I wouldn't know much about pictures because I don't because I don't take pictures a lot with this camera and uh, Yeah, I've, I've been using this camera for the video purpose only but I have I've taken some photos for this video So check it out and let's come back Alright, so this is it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, let me know if you are getting this camera or not and uh, let me know by the way I have comparison videos uh, Comparing this camera this hundred dollar camera to a thousand dollar camera the one I'm recording right now This is a a6400 versus t3i. Yeah, I will link that somewhere up here in the description box below Okay, so check it out. Is it worth buying a mirrorless camera or you can still use a DSLR in 2021? Yeah, it's pretty good if, if you have to ask me at the end of the day, if you're asking me, should you get this camera for $120, I would definitely, definitely say yes. But if you can afford a mirrorless camera right now, I would definitely recommend you getting a mirrorless camera from any brand you like. But I would prefer Sony because Sony has the greatest video quality you can get in a, DSL, uh, in a mirrorless camera. So if you're wondering, should you get like this camera or other Canon DSLRs, at this time, I would not recommend you if you have budget for it. I would recommend you getting a mirrorless camera. Mirrorless cameras have probably the best autofocus you can get out of camera. So yeah, this is it. I'm Riz. You're watching the YouTube guide. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.